What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Buffalo State College Bengals Dynasty here on NCAA Football 14. Today, the Bengals are taking on the Army Black Knights, who are the best team in this conference to this point. But the Bengals are on three straight wins, hoping to pull this one out in a rise to the top of the conference, potentially, as there are high stakes in this MAC East game. We'll have to see how it all turns out. But without further ado, let's get underway from Coyer Field. If you are new, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more Buffalo State Bengals content as Kevin Kinsley kicks it off deep to Army to start this one out. Harrison takes it out of his own end zone to the 20. Cuts left, has a big hole, turns the corner. McMillan misses the tackle. They ghosted him. He's off to the races and gone like a girl in a country song on the opening kickoff. 101 state route all the way home and army has reservations for six early on in this one armstrong and buffalo state has their work cut out for them they pitch it to leon leon breaks an ankle around the corner to the 50 and out of bounds inside the 40 yard line 28 on the scamper and if they're going to pull off this upset today leon jacobs is the man who is going to continually take the ball Armstrong, play action, first and 10, dumps it off to Jacobs. Jacobs spins, breaks a tackle, and falls forward down to the 15. How about the display of power from Jacobs, who is normally a speed back, sets up second and goal. Leon Jacobs behind his O-lineman, gets into the end zone and ties this one up. Army misses their PAT. Kevin Kinsley has a chance to take the lead, but they shank it wide right. So Army has the ball, Hopkins rolls out to his right side and meets Matthew Littlefield, leads the nation in tackles, why not one more? Make it third down and six, split backs, mean with the screen to the right side, Buffalo State is all over it yet again. Matthew Littlefield making his presence felt early, they would punt it back to Buffalo State who has two tight ends to the left side. Jacobs, stretch carry that way, gets around the corner with a block, Jacobs, near the 50 yard line after a 24 yard scamper. Number 32 with seven for 70 and a touchdown already. We're not even out of the first quarter yet. Second down and 10. Armstrong, pressure behind him and he goes down from his blind side. Takes us to the end of the quarter. Army able to generate pressure and set up a long third down. 21 out, Armstrong snaps. Lobs one up deep, found field, he has a man. DJ Lee gives Buffalo State the lead. What a throw from Adrian Armstrong, pressure in his face. No nerves whatsoever, he lets it fly and the cold weather has something to do with it. Hopkins to his right side, gets away from Littlefield. He is off to the races himself. Anything you can do, I can do better. 37 yards before finally being wrapped up but quite the impressive game for Army as they have Buffalo State on their heels. Hopkins to the left side and not fooled this time. Littlefield and Hall get there in the backfield. Two plays later, third down and nine. Hopkins steps back to throw off his back foot and caught a missed opportunity as a defender was in the area, but they are set up with first down and goal. And of course, the sweep to the left side gets them into the end zone for a touchdown. Kel Walker, their most dangerous player on offense to this point in the year, ties the game up. Buffalo State gets it back, faced with third and eight. Armstrong, pressure comes, fires, and Simmons is wide open. They ran the cover two again. 41 yards for the tight end who's emerged as the favorite target behind DJ Lee. He has sure reliable hands when he's wide open, he's gonna make you pay. Fourth and two, however, 40 seconds left. Jacobs gets away for a second and goes down. They swarmed him right up the middle and Leon had nowhere to go and they miss out on a potential three point lead as Army takes back over, plenty of time. Hopkins downfield, Hayes makes the catch, breaks a tackle and is down near field goal range. Army would tick it down, kick a field goal, go into half with a 16 to three lead over Buffalo State. Armstrong, play fake, rolls to his left side, steps up to carry and he's out of bounds. He has no speed, tortoise in the hair it looked like, but of course the tortoise emerges in the end. Third down and four, Armstrong back to Simmons. Deja vu yet again up the middle, leaving him wide open like a Burger King drive through although the Whopper is a mighty fine burger. Perfect meat to salad ratio, just saying. Buffalo State's drive continues. First and 10, Armstrong to the out route. Billy Myers gets his 
foot in for 12 yards. They move the chains. Second and goal. Where's it going? Weak side. Jacobs touchdown from one yard out. Buffalo State takes a four-point lead over Army in what has been an exciting conference clash to this point. They come back out from the flex zone. Third and one. Hopkins flips right. Holt and he is denied. The freshman Jay Woods in the backfield able to drag him back and Buffalo State forces the punt back to DJ Lee. He hasn't taken one back this year. To the right side, he makes a move to the corner, beats one. DJ Lee, can he do it? No, he's drugged down, but 38 yards on the return. Will he ever take one back to the house? The world may never know. Armstrong sets up, screen goes to Simmons instead up the seam. A heads up play for 18 yards. Sets up first down and goal. Two plays later, third and goal. Jacobs carry right up the middle and he's into the end zone for yet another touchdown. I believe that's the hat trick for Leon Jacobs today. He's been impressive, but also the defense as Walker on third down and two goes backwards. Jay Woods yet again in the backfield. He says, let's eat my friends up 11 over a conference rival. Fourth down and three, punts it back to DJ Lee. He catches it cleanly, takes his path to the left side. Cushion, evades one defender, two more. Lee with one to beat. He turns the corner and he is gone like a girl in a country song. He finally did it. Two years in waiting and DJ Lee, after winning returner of the year, has finally housed a kick. I almost don't believe it. What a magnificent return. Keeps his foot in bounds in the snow. And most importantly of all, helps Buffalo State get off to a three possession lead. Fourth and four, Hopkins gets sacked and turns the ball over with 308. I would say this is the dagger. First and 10, give back to Jacobs to drain the clock and he gets the first down up the middle. He has three touchdowns and nearly 150 yards. Fresh set of downs yet again. First and 10, pitch to the right side. Jacobs races to the corner, has the first down and a little bit more down inside the 10, 22 yards on the carry. Third down and goal. Seven seconds, Jacobs carries again in a school record with his fourth rushing score of the game. What an effort from Leon Jacobs. What an effort from the Buffalo State defense. And they win the biggest game of the series to this point. A statement win over Army if their first year in the conference, 41 to 16 is the final score. Adrian Armstrong, 9 for 12, 191 and a touchdown. Of course, you don't need to pass the ball when Leon Jacobs has the type of game he did. BJ Simmons and DJ Lee lead the way in the receiving game yet again. And Tony Hawkins, the freshman linebacker, has a monstrous game. But other than that, let's turn it to FG as always for the tween game show. FG, what you got? That was a humongous win over Army with major conference implications. Subscriber recruit Fresco Bundles commits to Georgia. A couple of big top 25 games this week. And UW kicked from playoff contention, losing 34-30 to Colorado. Defending champion Michigan Wolverines lose again. Number one Auburn wins another close SEC matchup over Georgia. In the MAC, Kent State upsets NIU, and Bowling Green upsets Miami of Ohio. Buffalo State stays in second, but only because Army has played one more game. Akron, our next opponent, is near the bottom of the conference, so that could lift us up a little bit in conference standings. Jacobs ends up winning player of the week with his huge game. He's also tied for second in the conference in rushing TDs. He has had a dominant five game stretch over the last few. Akron is not super talented, but they gave us our most embarrassing loss last season. Buffalo State looks for five straight wins as we're going up against Akron and Cato Nelson who played very, very well against us. 
the last meeting with these teams. Remember, it is franchise content. That is all we do here. So for the love of franchise content, please go ahead and subscribe as well as put on all your notifications. Back to Jack. Four straight wins for Buffalo State, and this is more of a redemption game against Akron, who is a team that gave them their most embarrassing loss, as FG mentioned, last season. Buffalo State has already matched their win total from last season with four straight wins and are looking for a fifth to prove all doubters wrong from earlier this season. Let's get underway as Cato Nelson and Akron start out with the ball and Matthew Littlefield doing his thing. Swarms to the football for a loss of four. They go split backs on second down and 14. Nelson flusters and chucks it off his back foot. Stewart makes the catch and breaks a tackle inside the 35 yard line. He has a gain of 21 and moves the chains. They would settle for three and Adrian Armstrong and co come out. He rolls to his right side, plenty of space on third down. Why not run for it? We've seen this a couple times in this game. The rare Adrian Armstrong run works out as he gains nine. Armstrong under pressure and fires to DJ Lee for a first down, able to fight for it. 12 yards, play action. Armstrong, lots of passing on this drive. He finds BJ Simmons inside the 15 as time ticks down in the first quarter already. And of course, why not cap off the drive with a give to Leon the Phenom for three yards and a score. Buffalo State out to an early seven to three lead. Nelson, empty backfield and Matthew Littlefield drops an interception, an absolute gift from Nelson. Second down and 10. They set up a screen and Littlefield drops another one. Two right in the bread basket to make it third down and 10. They go split backs, set up the screen left. Let's it go and is intercepted. Tony Hawkins, the freshman, shows the senior how it's done. Touchdown Buffalo State. What a 14 point swing. Tony Hawkins had enough of Matthew Littlefield's antics, decides to take the interception himself, and they have all the momentum in the world. Third down and one, Nelson steps up to run and can't get away from the freshman, Dennis Vinson. How about all the defensive freshmen making an impact in this game? It's so exciting to watch the youth movement here in Buffalo State. Armstrong empty, fires, DJ Lee makes the catch and makes a move down to the 21 yard line. Big chunk of 25, they tick it down and kick a field goal to send us to half with a 17 to three lead over Akron. But as we've seen, Buffalo State cannot take their foot off the gas. We will be right back for the last half. Certainly a lot of momentum and a great start for the Bengals out of the I formation. Jacobs with the pitch gets away from a man around the corner and out of bounds inside the 30. Jacobs with a big time run to start out. He's already almost to 100. That would be four straight games with 100 yards for him. He's been a big reason they've won so much. They go back his way right up the middle. Yet again down to the Buffalo State Bengal logo for 11 yards. Play action this time. Armstrong hit as he throws and unloads. Perfect pass downfield, but Lee drops it. Shades of last year, are you kidding me? Huge missed opportunity, but they spread it out. Go back Jacobs' way, and he has a big hole for 22 yards and another first down. Buffalo State inside the red zone. He's up to 129 and a touchdown. Second down and 10, they go empty two by three. Armstrong fires to Lynch downfield. And he makes the catch inside the five yard line for 21 yards. And of course, third down and goal. What do you do? Stretch to Leon. And he is able to weave through defenders and get into the end zone for his second touchdown of the game. It's 24 to three. Bengals get the ball back, trying to eat this clock. Jacobs makes a move and sheds two tackles for an impressive and tough fought nine yard gain up to 146. Second and one, two minutes to go. Jacobs carries hat trick, he gets it. Another touchdown for Buffalo State and Leon Jacobs specifically, his seventh touchdown of the episode. And that is an effective way to end the game as Jacobs puts the cherry on top. 175 yards, three touchdowns. And Buffalo State absolutely dismantles and embarrasses Akron at Coyer Field. Last season, Zippy the Kangaroo mocked us, but I heard he got on the bus a little early. 
Adrian Armstrong, six for 12, 89 yards, didn't need to throw it a whole lot. And it makes the whole backup quarterback situation much better when you have Leon Jacobs scoring three touchdowns per game. Matthew Littlefield led the team in tackles with four and had two TFLs and a sack. Wendell Wallace, Dennis Vincent also got on the board. However, that's going to do it for me, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to drop a like. Also, subscribe for the love of franchise and dynasty content because that is all we can do here. We can build a winner together here at Buffalo State. Take care, everybody.